Welcome everyone. In this first of a video series, we're going to talk about making a Google Slideshow interactive. And what I mean is not just pushing the space bar, or clicking the mouse to go from slide one to slide two, but giving your visitor, your viewer, the option to click a button to go where they want. Uh, let's, let me give you an example. So I'm going to go into present. Here's my opening title slide. And if I hit the space bar, now I get some menu options. And I can click on any of these buttons and go to that section. And then I can learn about the Wright brothers and their family. But if I look at the bottom, I say I'd like to learn about the Wright flyer. I can go visit that. If I'd like to see their flights that they made in 1903, I could click on that and I can click on home and return to then go to a different section. This video is going to focus on setting up your slideshow to get, get it ready for a menu and building what we're going to call the home page because a lot of this borrows from the idea of a basic web page, right? When you go to a web page, you don't have to go from web page one to web page two to web page three. You can click a menu and go where you want. Same idea here. So, friends, let us get started. Now, I've already made one version here, but I've got a blank. And so, this blank version, I've made my presentation, and that part is really important. It's much, much easier if you make the entire presentation first and then add the interactive menu buttons, whether they're on a home page slide or traveling across the bottom or side or wherever you want your navigation to appear on an individual slide. So like I said, I've already made mine here, but uh, I haven't gone any further. One tip about design that we're going to cover more in a separate video, but you'll notice how I've got some blank space at the bottom of most of my slides. Let me switch back to my finished version. That is to allow for a menu to appear at the bottom. So you might want to consider that as you're building your presentation before you put any navigation buttons in. Leave space for where you want the navigation to go. And it doesn't have to sit at the bottom. Put it on the side, put it across the top. Probably not the middle. That would be a little awkward. But otherwise, plan ahead, friends. So we're going to pick up at the point where our presentation is made, and we're going to add in that homepage slide. So I'm going to go to insert new slide. Of course, there are different ways to get there. And I would like to have a totally blank slide. So the strategy that works well is to build one button first, get it to look exactly the way you want it, and assuming you want to use that style for all your other buttons on this page, then copy paste it over. Then after that, link each button to a different slide. And I'll demonstrate right now. So let's go with the button shape. I'm going to go with a rounded rectangle, but again, you've got lots to choose from here. Um, but let's roll with a rounded rectangle, and I'm going to do a rough drag and drop for what I'd like it to look like. I'm going to change the background color to a green, because I like the color green. And at this point, of course, you can go in and you can make it a party and modify borders. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, actually, I'm going to turn off that. I'm going to make that border skinnier and you'll see why in a second. Okay, so um, I've made my basic button shape. Now I was talking about borders. One thing you want to do sometimes to show people, hey, this is clickable, if they're not sure, is that you can right click on your button, go down to format options, and you'll get a menu that sits over here on the right side. Check the drop shadow box, and we can use these sliders. Take a look at my button. 
See how, like if I use the distance slider, it moves the shadow further away or closer. I can use the angle slider to change where I want my shadow to appear. This is totally to your personal taste, friends, but for some people, when they see a shadow, it makes them think, oh, I click that, that's a button. This is purely visual, it's not required. Uh, it's just a style idea for you. So last thing, let's give this um, some text here. The right family. And I'm going to go up here, click on the three dots, go to the alignment tool, center that. This again, we're making one button look exactly the way we want it to so that we can then duplicate that before we make links. Okay, so I've got my color, I've got my border, I've got my text style that I want, and I added a drop shadow. So now I'm going to go on my computer command or control C, Command or Control V, Control V, Control V, because I want four. And then I'm going to align these. Use these red alignment marks to your advantage, friends. They're going to make it a whole lot easier to align these on the title slide. And then one thing I like to do is I'm going to shift click on all of these. And I'm going to move them as a group, just kind of center them there. Okay. So they're all they're all named the same, so that's kind of awkward. Um, let's fix that. So I'm going to change this one so it reads the right glider because the Wright brothers did build some interesting gliders as part of their work, and then. This is the right flyer that refers to the actual um, powered craft that they flew in 1903. And then this one links to a slide about the different flights they made um, in 1903. I'll call it 1903 first flights. Okay, enough about Wright Brothers. So I want to link this one to the right family. So I'm going to click on the button. And then I'm going to right or control click and go down to link on the pop-up menu. I'm going to choose link. Now I could link this off to a different web page, but that's a separate story, right? I want to link it to slides in this presentation. And you'll notice you have some default options here. Next slide, previous slide, first slide, last slide. Those are cool way to put in shortcuts if you want. But I want mine to go to the right family because that's what I've got linked here. I want it to link to the right family. So I've chosen that slide and I'm going to click apply. And just to prove it to you, I will go to present and I will hover over the button for the right family and it goes there. Now I don't have any way to get back yet, obviously, because um, we'll build that in a separate slideshow so now for the other three buttons same idea this one i want to go to the right glider so i'm going to click on the button right click or control click go to link slides in this presentation i know i want this to go to the right glider apply and i get a little pop up that tells me what it's doing. Awesome. The right flyer, right click, link, slides in this presentation. Now I noticed here when I scrolled the mouse, sometimes it didn't go far enough. So I actually had to use the arrow key on my keyboard. Your mileage may vary depending on the kind of monitor situation you're working with. But I thought that was kind of a weird little glitch. Make sure you click apply afterwards. Sometimes I forget and then the button doesn't work. So I'm back to my last one. Control click. I go to link. Slides in this presentation. I got to use the arrow key on my keyboard.
to get to my last slide and apply it and let us present. Always, of course, check. Uh, sometimes your changes may not stick. So take it for a little test run, right? Uh, let's go back here, you know, testing them all. So you can see how this works. It's a nice feature, friends, because it gives your visitor the option to go where they want within a slideshow, much like they would on a web page. Thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the other tutorial that talks about designing individual buttons and putting them as navigation on each slide. Have a great day.